We want to spend some time now talking about COVID-19 in China. The virus, of course, was first discovered in the country. There are now concerns that an outbreak which began at an airport last week may have spread to other parts of China. Let's bring in our China media analyst, Kerry Allen. Hi, Kerry. Hi, James. Where have these cases been discovered? So there's a growing outbreak at the moment in a city called Nanjing in the east of China. Um, In the last 24 hours, there have been 47 confirmed cases, 39 of which have been symptomatic cases, so people are exhibiting symptoms. Um, And uh, yeah, altogether, over the last week, there are now 88 people who've tested positive in this city. So this has grown quite quickly. Um, I, I mean, I've not seen figures this high, the kind of daily cases around the 39 mark. I mean, I know China's got a huge population of 1.4 billion people, but it's managed to keep its cases, you know, throughout the pandemic um, very much since the beginning of this year um, to single digits, more or less. So, so this is quite high and there's grounds for concern at the moment. When this all began, of course, Wuhan built a hospital in 10 days. So what's Nanjing doing? Well, at the moment, there's, I mean, people in Nanjing are still quite confident that this can be contained because China's had a lot of experiences now with localized outbreaks. And what it tends to do is it it rolls out very, very quickly these mass testing drives. So everybody in the city gets tested. And this is a city with a population of about 9.3 million people. And these tests are normally carried out within two to three days. So they happen very, very quickly. And they do this in several rounds to make sure that they can identify whether people are asymptomatic, you know, if they develop or if they develop symptoms later or, you know, maybe it's just been lying dormant in them. But um, yeah, um, people people are quite confident that this is being tackled, that it's trying to be brought under control. And is there concern that cases might be coming in from other countries? There is, yeah, there has been for a while. Um, I mean, there has been concern in in the west of China, a province called Yunnan, um, because they've had an outbreak um, a few weeks back um, that's linked to Myanmar, people crossing over the border. Um, So there have been these concerns long term. Um, But what happens is China uh, quarantines people for two weeks um, or longer if... um, Um, when they come into the country so the idea is that they can track these cases but I've seen I've seen a number of times now people when they hear of um, people suddenly becoming asymptomatic after they've completed their quarantine that there have been a lot of people in China calling for the quarantine period to be extended. Carrie Allen as always thank you